Today we're going to learn about wraparound mortgages and how a wraparound mortgage can be a powerful tool in the creative real estate investors tool belt. <music> We're going to start with the formal definition of what a wraparound mortgage is. And then we're going to give an example of a wraparound mortgage using real numbers. So it's a little easier to understand something kind of in layman terms that we can get our arms around. And then last but not least, I'm going to show you how I've used wraparound mortgages to create a fortune. So stay tuned. Here we go. So let me read you the formal definition of what a wraparound mortgage is. Here's the definition. A wraparound mortgage, more commonly known as a wrap, is a form of secondary financing for the purchase of real property. The seller extends to the buyer a junior mortgage which wraps around and exists in addition to any superior mortgages already secured by the property. Crystal clear, right? <laughs> no, not really. So that's why I want to use an example with some real numbers and put it in kind of a layman terms. So let me describe wraparound mortgage another way, this way. Let's say you have a property that you can buy for $100,000 and you're going to borrow that $100,000 from a private lender. So there you go. You borrow the $100,000 from the private lender to buy the property and you give that private lender a first lien on that property. That's step one. We've created the primary loan, the first lien. But with all private lenders that I deal with, it's in their contract with me that I'm allowed to wrap their mortgage, which means I'm allowed to sell this property on payments to my buyer and not have to pay off my first lien holder. So what happens is I go to my buyer over here and he moves into my house and he owes me $200,000. Let's say in this example, I let him move in with zero down, which I never do. But in this example, I've let him move in with zero down. I sold him the house for 200,000. I owe 100,000 over here to my private lender. And this guy starts making me a payments for 30 years at 10% on 200,000. I got to take the money that I make and I got to pay my lender on a hundred thousand at 8%. This buyer's mortgage to me wraps around my mortgage to my private lender. Is that more clear? Now, before I get to how I've made a fortune using wraparound mortgages, let's talk about that like button and that share button. Please draw your attention to those two buttons and it would make me very happy if you would mash on both of those a couple of times and let the world know what we're doing over here. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, come on, man, what you waiting for? So let's talk about how wraparound mortgages have helped me create a small fortune in my real estate investing career. First and number one thing is I could only have bought so many properties with my money. And actually that would have been very few because I didn't have any money. And I'm well aware most of the people who start out in this industry don't have much money either. So you can buy houses with your own money or your family's own money, but sooner or later you run out. You have to go out and find private money because the amount of houses that I had access to because I had private investors was infinite. I could buy as many houses as I could find. And that changed the whole battlefield. Second, when we go to private lenders, we get to name the terms. We get to name the interest rate we want to do. We get to lay out the rules. You see, when you go to a bank and you walk in their door, they're going to tell you how it is. They're going to tell you what your choices are, if you even have any choices. When you go to private lenders, you're explaining to them what you need and what it takes for you all to be in the business together. And you get to color the money the way that you want it colored. So I was able to go to private lenders and get much longer term commitments from private lenders than banks were ever willing to give me. And I was also able to get non-recourse collateral only loans. Try getting a non-recourse collateral only loan from your bank. Almost impossible. You would have to be a long time, very wealthy businessman to get that done. 
And then last but not least, try to get a wrappable loan from a bank. Try to get a bank to give you a loan on a piece of property so that when you sell it with payments to your buyer, you don't have to pay them off. Just try to do that with a bank. Believe me, I've tried. It's dang near impossible. But with private lenders, it is possible. This wraparound mortgage kind of backs into a whole bunch of different stuff. To get a wraparound mortgage, you have to get a private lender. To get a private lender, you're going to get into a whole different field of play. And it works out beautifully. So let me tell you how I'm making money on this. Let's go back to the example we used earlier. I got a private lender to loan me $100,000 to buy a property that was worth $200,000. I bought the $200,000 property for $100,000 cash because my private lender had the funds available and I could. So here I am. I owe this private lender $100,000 for 15 years at 8%. I turn right around and I sell the property to my buyer at $200,000 at 10% for 30 years. Remember, $100,000 at 8% for 15 years. And I just sold the property for $200,000 at 10% for 30 years. You don't even need a calculator to figure out there's a lot of money in here to be made, right? Right? You with me? So that's what I've done. I've done it for 20 years, hundreds and hundreds of times. I take the rent formula that I have and I back into this rent formula. And if you haven't seen the rent formula, then you have to go to that episode. But you take the rent formula and you figure out what the house is worth based on the rent that it's bringing in. And that's the owner finance value. Now you know what you can do to make an offer. 60 cents on the dollar, 50 cents on the dollar, 40 cents on the dollar. But you know what you can sell it for. So now you know what you can offer. And when someone says yes, you're going to make some money. And you just do it over and over and over and over again. And that's how I've made money with wraparound mortgages. It forced me onto a completely different playing field that was so lucrative I couldn't even imagine. Thank goodness I was forced to go find wraparound mortgages because when I found the wraparound mortgages, I found the private lender and I found the rate I needed and I found the term I needed and I found non-recourse and I found collateral only and I found all this other stuff that the banks were never willing to give me. All because of wraparound mortgages. All right, this is Mitch Steven. I hope you had a good time with this one. I hope you found some golden nuggets. I hope you've been inspired to go find some private lenders and to create some wraparound mortgages of your own. And for hanging around so long, I want to give you a free hard copy of my book. Now, the problem with a free hard copy is I can't just hand it to you. If I could, then it'd be completely free. I got to mail it to you. So I'm going to ask you for $7 for the shipping of this 400 page book, okay? And then I'm also going to throw in an owner financed one. 101 training video where I take some case studies with those wraparound mortgages and show you exactly the numbers on a whole bunch of different case studies and the way I'm thinking and the way it works more in depth. This Owner Finance 101 video is about 45 minutes long and I go deep into this subject. So if you're interested in what we just discussed in this episode, you're going to want to take this offer. It's seven bucks. We'll get this book delivered to you and you'll get the digital download. Just go to 1000houses.com forward slash free dash stuff and click on the link there on the homepage that says $7 book offer or just click on the link right here. Okay, we're out of here. Follow me to the next episode. That's where I'm headed.